For more than a century, Hua Lampong Station in Bangkok has stood as a testament to Thai independence in the face of colonial dominance. Opened in 1916 at a time when Thailand was threatened by British regional control, it sat at the centre of Southeast Asia's first railway network. But Hua Lampong is due to close to make way for a new Grand Central Station at the heart of a high-speed rail network. That's caused considerable concern for many, particularly as China is the main investor. It's important to make sure that when China makes investment, how are we going to make people of this country or of this region get benefit from the investment? China has long held ambitions for a high-speed rail network into Southeast Asia. As part of the Belt and Road Initiative, designed to bring Chinese investment to neighboring countries, Laos opened its high-speed rail line in December. But the huge cost of the project, laying line through difficult terrain, has left the Lao government with a debt to China that critics say will be crippling. After the military coup in 2014, Thailand's ruling generals quickly signed up to a Chinese high-speed rail project. But Thai negotiators balked at the high interest rates and plans to construct a network that ran the length of the country were curtailed. But when you go into the details, I would say that the Thai bureaucrats are very good at uh, delaying projects when uh, the terms are not favorable because civil servant, government officer, I'm a government officer, we, are, we have been taught from the beginning that we have to do everything to protect the interests of our country. Those delays are clear to see. While the project's well underway, work has been slow, and Thailand remains reliant on its old rolling stock. The elevated track has been raised, but there are still more than 200 kilometers to go before the final destination on the Gulf of Thailand. And those delays go all the way down the line. And this is Bangkok's brand new Grand Central Station. But no high-speed trains arriving today because the Thai government hasn't yet decided whether it's going to use China's high-speed track. And the crowds arriving at the new station aren't coming to catch a train. This is now the Thai capital central COVID-19 vaccination center. With delays in the vaccine rollout this year, that's a process the government's far more interested in keeping on track. Tony Cheng, Al Jazeera. Bangkok.